Kirkcubery in Dumfries and Galloway is known as the artist's town, but the town itself rarely features in the paintings. Today I'm visiting the town with an artist from Whitehaven in Cumbria who wanted to put that right. I discovered this place last year. I came for a holiday um, to look around all the art galleries in town, wandered around the town. I remembered all the painted houses from my youth when I used to come and run around this area, run around the forests as an orienteer. And um, I thought, oh, this is, just fits in beautifully with the kind of work I do now, like my houses in Whitehaven. Now, probably my favourite building in Kirkcubery is the one behind me, Broughton House. Although I specialise in streets, you couldn't come to Kirkcubery and not paint Broughton House. When I was here, the sun was shining on the building, um, and it was a really gorgeous little pink um, pink and blue. At the moment it, we've had some rain and you can see it's darker but it's still a beautiful building. The gates, the door, even the topiary by the front door is rather beautiful. So where, where we're standing here to, at the moment uh, we can actually see four of the view, almost four of the views that I've painted because I've painted the castle behind, castle gardens and this harbour view gallery but I've, what I specialise in is not just individual buildings, I love to paint whole streets and the variety of the buildings and the different colours of the streets. So in this particular drawing rather than just the gallery I've painted the whole row which makes a very attractive little um, vista down towards the harbour. Now everybody paints the castle but you put a slightly different slant on it. One of the features of my um, paintings is that I don't put any background, there's no sky. I'm really focusing on the bricks, the mortar, the architectural features. Unlike a photographer, you can remove all the bins and the cars, can't you? I can, yeah. So you've got, um, and then you've got those horrible street signs that <laughs> sort of um, cut up through the middle of a window or somewhere. So it's rather nice to just ignore those little cracks of paint or those little crumbles of paintwork and make it look sort of spick and span. <laughs> So this is a little group of four houses that are painted. Um, I mean, one of the things I'm well known for in Whitehaven is the classical Georgian architecture. And of course here you've got the lovely symmetry of the doors, the windows, and then you've got this special little building at the end, all the little archways. Um, they're just lovely to draw. And what I like here is you've got slightly different stonework, and then you've got um, the lovely peachy green, peach and green colour at the end. So it's that contrast where you get four different houses together with a different frontage. It just makes a really attractive painting. As a youngster, I came up into this area, um, but also um, from a very young age, I've been aware of the connection and the history between Whitehaven and Kikubri and John Paul Jones. So from John Paul Jones growing up in this area and his connection with this building, because at one point he was held captive here as a prisoner, um, and of course his notorious attack on Whitehaven Harbour. Um, so I, I've grown up with that history. Uh, and the other connection, of course, is at one point uh, there was a, um, a sea connection where the steam packet worked um, between Whitehaven, and Kikubri and the Isle of Man. So I'm sort of reconnecting uh, those two places together through my art. There's also a connection with the architecture, isn't it? It's very visible. Um, yes, there's a lot of um, symmetry, um, stonework, colours, um, the fact that um, uh, my aunt always calls this place the town with the coloured houses. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it, um, 
it's, it's an artist's delight, really. It's great to see the buildings and streetscapes of Kirkubri taking centre stage. If you can't make it to Natalie's exhibition, then check out her website. And of course, please subscribe to the iScotland channel.